Hi, I'm Michael and welcome to Tamenuri Studio. Uh, today I will show you how to, and to mix Urushi. Mix Urushi with pigments and other additives. Uh, I will show you and I will talk about some other aspects of it because I'm not able to show everything in one video because I just don't need so much colored or special type of Urushi all the time. So I just mixed, mix what I need and I usually show it on my videos and sometimes I just uh, mix something especially for you. And this time I will do something especially for you, but I will also use this Urushi for something else. I will show it on a example of uh, Nanako Nuri. Nanako Nuri is a uh, lacquer used for middle layers. So color, you can color it, you can use it uh, raw. Uh, so without any additives or you can add some pigments to it and uh, it consists the basis of the construction of the layers of the, on the pen. For example on resin pens there is no need to apply any base layers and you start with a nanakanuri, uh, nakanuri, sorry, nakanuri and uh, for pens like ebonite or wood pen, wooden pens, you start with a base layers like Kyurushi or Sashimi Urushi and then apply Nakanuri. And uh, it's also the probably the thickest part of the of the other layers. So uh, anyway, the idea of mixing Urushi is exactly the same. It does not matter if it's a uh, Nakanuri or is it uh, Kijiro or uh, nashi, nashi, maybe not, but uh, any other type of Urushi, which is designed to be mixed with colors. And uh, Nakanuri is not uh, perfectly translucent lacquer. Uh, it's uh, more opaque than, than uh, Kijiro, much more opaque than Kijiro. You can mix a color lacquer using premixed uh, colored Urushi but you need to make sure what type of color Urushi is that. There are some companies, uh, even Japanese companies, which sell ready-to-use Urushi. It's colored Urushi and it's ready-to-use. You do not need to and you don't have to mix it with anything because it's already the proportions between pigment and lacquer uh, are uh, much bigger, so there is much less pigment in the lacquer than in this type of Urushi. This type is paste. It's a special mixture of uh, Urushi and pigment, which is intended to be diluted further. So you have to mix it with the lacquer at least in one to one proportions, usually one part of this paste and two parts of the Kijiro or Nakanuri lacquer. It depends on the effect you want to achieve. So the more pigment there is in the lacquer, the more difficult it is to apply a thin layer, the longer it will cure, but also the stronger will be the color, but more opaque. Uh, so to achieve translucent color, translucent colored Urushi, it's very important to apply, uh, to, to mix much less pigment into the lacquer and apply much thinner layers with a very high quality uh, translucent colored Urushi, uh, not colored, just translucent Urushi. I will not show you how to mix uh, ready-made pastes with Urushi because I showed it on some other videos and it's very easy, you just mix it, that's it. Like put same parts of Urushi uh, like Kijiro or Nakanuri and such paste, uh, such pigmented paste and you mix it. A uh, completely different story is in mixing with powdered pigments. There are some pigments which are designed for Urushi, like this one. It's, it's artificial pigment, but it's especially made for mixing with Urushi. And it's, it does not react with acidic, uh, uh, because Urushi is acidic and it, it does not react with, uh, with Urushi. It does not fade in time, it does not change color. and. Uh, it only changes color as Urushi changes color because Urushi, when it's cured, it changes color to darker and more brown, uh, even sometimes almost black. 
you start with, you will need some spatulas the, for mixing itself. The most convenient spatula is metal spatula like this one. All artists, artists shop should have something like this, but some plastic spatulas will be also handy. And of course the wooden one, which is slightly elastic will be uh, good too. I will take just part of this urushi I put on, the, on my uh, working surface and I will start with just part of it. I will put, uh, I do not measure it some very precisely because I try to mix on feel, but I try to keep the proportions right. So from maximum of 40% of, uh, of pigment should be added to the same, to the weight of the Rushi. So I add some red pigment to the smaller part of Urushi lacquer are separated from uh, from this lacquer I applied on my surface and I net it. I try to incorporate all the pigment into Urushi. It should be very thick paste and but it should be a paste. There should be no loose powder of of uh, pigment on the surface. Sometimes for this part it's better to use some stiffer uh, spatula like wooden or plastic one than this metal, especially for scraping and for pressing the pigment into the urushi. I will shorten this for the demonstration purposes but you should work it at least 10 minutes uh, until this paste will become smooth. Very thick but much smoother than now. At this moment you can decide to add something more. It, you have to remember to scrape off all the spatulas you use because there is some fresh not mixed with uh, pigment urushi on both of them. So scrape them off, mix a little bit, scrape them off again and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat several times. Uh, okay. At this moment you can decide that you want to do something with the color. You have to remember that urushi, once cured, will become darker. It will not only become darker, but it will also change the hue. Uh, Urushi is amber, brown, brownish amber in color. So, uh, and it will become more brown and more dark and more brownish, yellowish uh, once cured. So, when Urushi is fresh, like this one, it looks red. Dark red, but it's nice red. Once it's cured, it will become much more brown. So experimenting with uh, uh, this mixing, I will add a little bit more of, of Nakanuri Urushi. Experimenting will make you more confident in uh, adding some other colors of pigment to this mixture. For this experiment purposes, I will show you how to use two different brightening agents. One is, uh, for, by some uh, artists, it's called stabilizer, but it's also known as a uh, white pigment, and it's titanium oxide. Titanium oxide is a white, in natural form it's white. It can be changed and uh, modified uh, and mixed with other pigments, but, but in natural form it's white. You can add some white pigment of titanium oxide which is very neutral and is, does not react with any uh, acids or alkal, uh, alkaline uh, uh, environments and it will brighten the color ever so slightly. It will go a little bit in the pinkish direction, uh, magenta or something like that 
but trust me, once cured, it will be what we need. Another very traditional way of brightening Urushi is using powder egg white, egg, uh, egg um, shells. Uh, you, if, to use it, you need to find and buy or make yourself really extremely fine uh, eggshells and this is something like that. It's, it's almost as fine as this, uh, as this titanium oxide. I will add also this, it's, it's slightly, uh, it's not, not as fine as titanium oxide, but I will want to show you that it's possible to mix them too in, but you will need to work uh, longer and, but it also influences the color. I will mix the rest of Urushi now and you have to mix it. It takes quite a lot of time. It's a good idea to mix a little bit more Urushi or even much more Urushi of the color than you need for the session and it's for example for final layers, for final color layers, it's best to mix the uh, all Urushi you will need for all the layers of all the pens you are lacquering at the same time and curing at the same time because the color of the layers will be more uniform, more predictable. Uh, it will be much more predictable and uh, if you do not use it, you can store it and I will show you how to store it. It's a good idea to pre-mix Urushi with, especially when you are mixing much uh, bigger uh, quantities of Urushi, uh, to mix it at least one day before, store it overnight and mix it, mix it very, very thoroughly again the next day. Uh, why? Because little lumps of uh, pigment, which you will not be able to crush, to, to mix with the Urushi on the surface. They will be infused with Urushi overnight and it, which will be much, it will be much easier to, to work them and to, and to mix them properly with Urushi. And I'm talking about lamps which are almost invisible. So they are very, very small. And it's a very good idea to, to mix Urushi with the pigment for at least one day, at least one day before you want to use it for the first time. Of course, always, always, when you mix pigment with Urushi, you have to filter it. I showed filtering in several of my videos, but I will prepare one only about filtering Urushi. This time, uh, this time I will not filter it because I will work on it tomorrow, uh, later. And I just wanted to show you how I make sure that what I mixed is what I need. And that's another reason for preparing Urushi at least one day before you need it. Or sometimes even two or three days before you need it. It gives you the ability to test it. And how to test Urushi? There is no other way than to cure it. You will never know how it will look like if you want to cure it. So, I made some small plastic like uh, acrylic plates and testing boards and I take freshly mixed Urushi even without filtering because I do not want a perfect surface and I apply it on such a testing board usually on two of them I will show it only on one one layer will be quite thick this one and the other one will be much thinner. What you can check this way 
is how Urushi will behave when cured. Uh, so how it will change color, uh, for how long the brush strokes will uh, be visible on the surface uh, of uh, the layer. Will they disappear or not when curing? But also you can check uh, cure time and curing humidity and compare the results. The curing humidity affects the color of Urushi, especially Kijiro Urushi, so final layers of Urushi, very much. So the higher the, the, higher the humidity, the faster the Urushi cures, but the darker and the more opaque it becomes. The uh, lower the humidity, but of course not extreme. So you can lower the humidity down to 62-65%. Uh, so the lower the humidity, the slower the Urushi, the Urushi cures, but the color stays much brighter and the Urushi is much more translucent. So always test your urushi. I usually mark uh, what kind of urushi and when mixed and uh, with what applied is in the mixture uh, or in these patches here. So I can mark it like with today date. Uh, today in my time is uh, uh, May the second, and uh, yeah, I can mark that it's red, dark plus titanium oxide plus egg shell powder. Okay, and now such a board goes into furo and I can make another one and put it into the other furo. So in one of my furo, uh, the Humidity is always around 85, 87, between 83 and 87 percent. And in the other one, I can modulate the humidity and make it anything between 60, 62 up to 75, 77 percent. So I can decide in what humidity I want to cure uh, each layer, each type of, uh, uh, of Urushi. I've just mixed or tested. That's it. Uh, I will show you uh, results and how to um, filter the Urushi uh, in, and what you can use the filter paper for uh, in working in, with Urushi in Urushi workshop in one of my future videos. Please like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to support my, support my work of educating about Urushi. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.